Smite is being a big butt at the moment. And again, they won't let me access replays. They're down again. I don't know what's going on, but it's really annoying because I really enjoy commentating Smite replays because the game is just enough action to help me keep up with what's going on. And it's, it's a pretty simply laid out game. The only hard part is keeping up with all the kills everywhere. So it's a lot of fun to commentate. So instead of commentating a replay because I can't, I'll commentate a match. We'll see what happens. I'm probably going to lose because I've been on a bit of a winning streak. I have been losing once or twice because uh, I've been getting teammates like a Thor I got two games ago that uh, had decided the best way to be Thor is to ult uh, and his ultimate is very good. I mean, no. I'm not, I'm not knocking him, but, uh, Hades. if you ult into five of the enemy by yourself, without anyone else on the team coming in, I think, I think you've made a mistake. So they want three physicals, uh, that's Vamana. an excuse to play Vamana. I love Vamana. But you shouldn't go into five people by yourself. Whatever, I'm Vamana, look. Did he not notice? I, I think that this guy's trolling. Uh, once again. Oh, good. But once again, uh, the character select screen being my biggest obstacle. I, I want to get this skin, but uh, don't have any gems, and I don't want to spend money on this game beyond the money that I've already spent until uh, I start making money from making videos from it. I will obviously reinvest some of the money that I make from the commentaries that I do back into this game and the company that made it. Because obviously if they can't afford to keep the game up, I lose a little bit of my money. Though probably wouldn't be that big of a deal because there are like a million other MOBAs at this point. It's just, it would be a real shame if I lost this game. But I don't care either way. Vamana, pretty strong. He's a physical tank. It's time to fight. He is very good at making the enemy unhappy by using his various uh, lovely abilities to clear creeps and harass the enemy. One thing we're lacking in this game is a support, but we have a good pusher mid and good burst when in the Aokwong. We have a good support in the hell, but she called mid. And, uh, this Al Kwong is ignoring her completely. Okay, good. So we're going to have two tanks in right-hand lane. Uh, Hercules and me. Yeah, Hercules wants that blue buff. I don't blame him. Okay. Everyone's always paranoid about those MIAs. Enemy missing metal. Enemy missing. And he's, when he says girdle, uh, this, uh, this, when he said girdle, this Hercules, he's talking about, of course, the girdle of might. Stanky. And what that does is when he pops it in, a, in an area around him, he wants, Stanky. he will give us additional attack power. And that's always good against buffs. I don't know what this guy's planning. Thanks. What are you, what are, what are you planning to do? Whatever, dude. Maybe he thought we were going to get ganked. I don't know. Attack. I can't attack. I'm not over there. Uh, Vamana has a similar ability to Thor, where Thor has his hammer that he throws out. Vamana throws out his umbrella. And, uh, instead of the return trip doing more damage, it does equal damage both times, but it will reapply the slow. And the call missing. missing. There are various voice commands that you can do in the game. Maybe these uh, patches that I had to download today were fixes to the random lag I was getting before. Because it seems to be gone now. I might even up the graphics at some point. But because I don't want to risk bad lag while I'm recording, I'm going to keep the graphics low. And... 
we're gonna we're gonna hit this guy really hard. He's dead. Uh, that is generally what happens when you lane with Aphrodite, and Aphrodite doesn't use her soulmate thing on you. You tend to die. So this Herc is amazing. I just want to say that. I want to go on the record saying that I love this Herc. Avenger 7, you're my favorite. And I, I'm going to link you this video after the game. So that you can hear how high my opinion is of you. You're doing very well. And we are going to carry very hard this game. So much, in fact, that I'm going to level up my 2 instead of my 3. Yes, Hercules, they did never stand a chance. They're in big trouble this game. If they feed us, they're going to be the most unhappy team. But then again, I mean, we have a physical tank, which is me. I'm very good against physical uh, carries because when I build a lot of physical defense, I get additional damage. Uh-oh. There's that lag I was talking about that I was getting a couple days ago. Hercules, you're a little too aggressive. Though you're... I mean, he's good. He's not dying with his aggression, but... I don't have a lot of mana. Bro, look at my mana bar. Please look at my mana bar. And look at my health bar. I don't got it, baby. I'm sorry. I don't got this. We can probably kill him if we pull him again, but I don't think he's going to let us do that. There are various warnings and sayings that you can give people, like, I'm out of mana. Retreat, retreat like that <laughs> and uh, very good though we are getting lots of kills on this Chablanque you can also say be right back which is lovely okay. that's a nice little warning to your teammate what shouldn't have taken that mana potion but if I didn't take the mana potion I wouldn't have enough uh, mana to get that kill so what I'm gonna do is go for an early void blade I'm thinking or not because I'm not going to have enough money for it. I'm just going to wait out the gold here. Because, quite frankly, it's better that I finish the boots. I'll run a little bit faster, which is nice. You can also say you're coming back. There, are, There's basically a command for almost anything that you do in this game. You can call ganks. You can call missing. Uh, you can call missing for other people if you're feeling really generous. You can tell people that you're going in the jungle. You can tell people to attack. You can tell people to defend tell people that there are enemies in lane. You can tell people that the enemies went back to base. You can tell people that uh, that you rock and that you're the greatest. You can tell people that you are the rock. Just kidding, you can't. Oh, what an ult from that fucking Herc. <laughs> Hercules ultimate is that giant rock that looked like a giant poop that rolled right by me. And, uh... What that does is it'll bounce off of walls after it hits you. So if it hits you and then bounces off of a wall, it'll hit you once and then bounce and then hit you again. And that'll do lots of damage, sometimes in the thousands, depending on how built he is. Call the missing on this Aphrodite. Oh wait, she's back. And that ult is very nice in small areas like if you're in Odin's ultimate, for example, that thing can hit you up to three times if you're not careful as an enemy. Oh, don't worry. I'm not pushing this lane. Oh, what are you doing? Now you're getting silly. Okay. Hercules almost pulling a silly move back there. I'm leveling up my attitude. Hitting those minions. Showing him that he doesn't hurt, which he doesn't. He just hit me with that ability and it did nothing to me, you saw. Retreat. Either that or he didn't hit me at all. Don't worry about me, Herc. I have full HP. I'm fine. Be right back. Missed me. Aphrodite is using her bird's ability. Alright, right, Herc. You go back. I don't know why you want to go back. Alright, you don't want to go back. Whoa, dude. 
Let me kill him. That's fine. I can tank that. I can tank everything you throw at me, baby. Because I am a tank. Level up my three. Because I'm feeling pretty nice about our lane right now. Once again, I come back here. I barely am short. I don't really look at the gold before I go back. I really should. Because then I wouldn't have to sit here for a second waiting. But it's okay. I'm going to start the Void Blade. What the Void Blade is, is it gives me physical protection and physical power and a debuff to enemy physical protection. I'm going to call the missing and left after Hercules did. Uh, after coming, I'm going to call that I'm... Then I'm going to gank middle lane. Hopefully Hercules will respond and say, okay, I'm, I'm all for that, bro. I'll gank middle lane. Do I hurt you? Hey, did that hurt? Did that hurt me? No. Oh, nice. Nice ult from the Herc again. Sadly, not enough to kill him. But we are going to push this lane and he's not going to be able to answer that. Alright, uh, missing and left. Enemy missing left. Oh, they just head over to mid. Uh, at least the Aphrodite did. I don't see where Shablanke, Shibalanke is how you pronounce his name. I always pronounce it Shablanke, but it's not a French name. It's Sh Shibalanke because it is a not French name. Uh, Hercules trying to close the distance here, right but Shibalanke is fucking terrified of us. And rightfully so. We hurt him a lot and he does not hurt us at all actually which is very good <laughs> probably gonna get uh, one or two magic resist items like the magi's blessing to uh, block the Poseidon ult I'm gonna just run up and hit this turret like the both of us are <laughs> look at this guy he's like I don't know what to do I'm scared <laughs> So I maxed out my two. I hurt right now. I'm level nine. I got a maxed out two. Aphrodite's here and she's going to miss every one of her skill shots. All right. So she's finally using the soulmate thing, which is lovely. He's dead. Yep. There it is. Uh, I am not going back at the moment because <laughs> yeah, really, uh, <laughs> That, Shib that Shibalanke is just absolute trash, and this Aphrodite is not much better. I think that it's a first-time Aphrodite, to be honest, and maybe even a first-time Shibalanke, or maybe it's his first game in Smite. It's pretty interesting, the uh, technique that she's using, where she runs into us and gets killed. It's, uh, it's an interesting technique. Oh, he missed his pull. That's a shame. And he missed his ult, so we don't get the kill on her, but maybe next time. See anyone in mid? Yeah. Oh, I don't see Poseidon anymore. I'm call the be careful. I'm gonna call the missing in mid. Cause I don't see him on the map, which is something that I don't see a lot of people do in this game. They don't look at the fucking map. Always good to look at the map. Or you just turn to this side. Yeah, he's still in mid. Yeah, dude, it's Neath. You ever fought against Neath? Neath hurts. Neath also has uh, an ultimate that you can think of like an ash arrow that has a... It follows its target though, so it's impossible to miss. Uh, the only way you can miss it is uh, if you don't shoot it. Enemies have returned middle. I'm thinking that this Shablanke is getting baited in because he thinks he can kill me. But what he doesn't know is that my ult is off cooldown, which is kind of like... And he thinks he can kill me. He doesn't even realize yet. He doesn't realize how invincible I am. But he'll come in and come in thinking that he can kill me. Come on, guys. Don't you want to try? Come on, Shibalanke. Come on in. Yeah, you better run. So you don't hurt. Really? Okay, well, while you do that, I'm going to go back to base. Be right back. 
I'm not going to jump. <sighs> Once again. Oh wow, that price didn't update with my purchase. Two, three, and four. There are active items in the game instead of uh, summoner spells. That's these bad boys. I'm going to probably be getting Creeping Curse and uh, Aegis. So that uh, if Poseidon attacks me and tries to kill me or tries to come in and I think he's going to ult, I can pop the Aegis and be fine. Uh oh. A little bit of lag. So again, this game just randomly lagging and I don't know why. Uh, there is nothing that would be causing said lag. And yeah, it looks like right lane is going to need ganks some point in this game okay we're gonna go to mid I'm gonna call the missing still because I don't see Aphrodite she could end up anywhere she's a good support for AD carries and a good support for mages as well come on jump into me so that I can hit you with my two a thing that uh, a lot of Shibalankes do not understand is that when they jump into you, you're not invincible. So I can hit uh, abilities like my two or my three and they can all hit you. And I guess that they didn't see the... She's dead. I guess that they didn't see her coming in from the back. Luckily I saw her coming. Uh, he's getting close to hit his two again. Speaking of twos, I'm going to hit my two and probably kill him. What are you doing? <laughs> Stands there. Just standing there going, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I don't even care. I'm gonna go awesome. I wish that there was a way I could say like, man, you're doing great this game. Or like, man, are they feeding us? Or like, dude, I didn't think I could get any fatter. She's not OP. You just picked Bastet. That's her problem. You picked a shitty ass champ. And by champ, I mean God. Bastet is not very good. Uh, she does not have a lot of damage for a DPS carry. She does not have a lot of CC for a squishy god. She's not very good. I don't recommend her to anyone who doesn't know what they're doing. If you're new to the game, I definitely do not recommend her. What the fuck? Ao Kuang initiating with his ult for some reason. And Vulcan wasting his uh, towers there. Now they're going to be tanking a lot of damage. Neath getting chased into the jungle. I'm going to come around. And show her that it ain't happening, buddy. You're going to die. And she's dead. I took her out. See, all it takes is some confidence. That's all it took. Like, Bastet has no way to get in there because uh, Vulcan is just like, Oh, you want to come close? Well, sorry. Not happening. But when we come in, it's done. All right, it's over. And there's nothing that they can do about it. It was a, it was a pretty uh, random and unneeded ult from the Al Kuang. His, uh, his mighty squall, as he'll call it, but tornado, was pretty pivotal in the uh, death of the enemies. And it looks like Bestet is going to do well against this really bad Shablanke. To be honest, it's probably for the best. Not to sound like a cocky motherfucker, but to be honest, the team we're up against doesn't seem very good at this game. And uh, we just came into lane, killed the both of them, and then we killed the turret. Uh, now mid is getting an advantage. I'm gonna just hit him with my harassment move. I can tank your turrets and stuff, dude. It doesn't hurt as much as you think it does. And left, got the tower taken. And it looks like Hell went mid, which is nice. And I don't know what this Neath is thinking. Man. Let me slow you down, buddy. If you want to I'll take auto attacks from her. I hit him with everything. And come on through. That is not cool. You don't hurt. You don't hurt us. I'm gonna beat you up. Did I hurt? Did I hurt you? Sorry.
Getting those minions. Getting back a little. Trying to bait them in. They don't, they don't hurt me. They don't realize that they don't hurt. Him wasting his ult, Vulcan, thinking that I was caught or something, uh, not happening. And if I was, I would have ulted. And you would have died. Come on, use your one. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Hey, buddy. Where you going, man? Come here. Come here, buddy. Yeah, this Vulcan not doing very well this game. In spite of how fed he is, he cannot hurt me. All he can do is run. Run in fear. Be right back. Not sure if Neath died back there. I wasn't really paying attention. I was a little busy with myself. I don't want to be. I don't want to sound selfish or anything, but uh, gotta look out for number one in this game. I don't want to give these guys kills that they don't deserve. Got enough mana for everything I need. Still a scary god, as I would be in the real life. Let's get a sovereignty. And then a mystical mark. The reason why I'm doing this is uh, I'm going to get the Ankh of the Golem last. And what that'll do is get all that HP I just got from those two uh, defense items I'm buying. And it'll put it towards more attack power and attack speed. Which will make me that much more deadly in a fight. I'm going to call the missing and right even though she went to mid and she's already been seen there. This guy thinks he hurts for some reason. He's dead. And there go his turrets. <laughs> I don't know, it's like th there's Vulcans that do well. And then there's this Vulcan and he is not having a good game. Uh, in spite of him getting pretty fed in his lane. I mean, and they were getting very fed. Uh, Hell and Bestet only dying a total of six times. Uh, you must think you hurt, and you're wrong. Yeah, you can dodge my shit, but I'll never care. I hit this turret. Come on in, hit the turret. It doesn't hurt. Them trying to fight me, but it's not happening. They're not going to be able to fight me. Wow! Her coming in from behind and just saying fuck the police and getting getting all the damage in that is needed. Uh, I'm waiting for my for my big uh, reveal that my ult is off cooldown. You missed your you missed your little jump there, buddy. I'm gonna kill this turret. Show that we really, really, really don't give a fuck. I'm gonna ult here and keep them away from us. Show, show you how much I care. Show me. Let me show you. Show me all your damage. You don't hurt. Look, I can, I can run right through your stuff. I can tank two turret hits and you won't kill me. You can even ult me, Neath. You won't kill me. <laughs> Neath, I guess, conserving her ult for later. Me thinking that she can kill Herc now. Nice heal from the hell. What I want is mana. It'd be nice if we had an Aphrodite because then she could give me some mana. Whoa. Hell. When I died for the hell sins, she has to get out of there. It's what a tank does, is he dies for the sins of others. She, for some reason, couldn't use her heal. Hell getting a little overconfident. Uh, 
no, no worries, whatever. I won't even, I won't even go there. It's gonna go right over this Hell's head. Hell has no idea how bad uh, she's doing this game. Probably hasn't been carried before. It's probably too used to losing. Hercules, though, keeping his perfect score, perfect. Al Kuang, in spite of not doing extremely well mid, is keeping himself alive. And that is an admirable trait. Staying alive is good. Sorry, Bestet. Can't do that. I'm a little busy keeping Vulcan busy. And I know Vulcan's afraid of me. I got a Sovereignty. Sovereignty, I'm gonna get a Mystical Mark. I don't give a shit. My mark of protection is gonna make me a happy boy. Look at how much your look at how much your turret does. Look at all that damage it did to me. Definitely worth the mana cost, right? Come on, throw down another one. Throw down another one, bro. Nice turret. Look, how much you hurt. I don't have to go there, man. I'm defending right lane from Mr. I think I can split push without an answer. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? You realize I hurt? Where are you going? Get away from my fucking minions. These are mine. Well, as I heard, right? I'll teach you this lesson the fun way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Vulcan forgetting his place, but uh, is quickly reminded of it by my Vimana. My Vimana, very strong build, a lot of defense and a lot of attack. As you can see, I mean, I was chunking that Vulcan who thought he could do damage or something. <sighs> Such a fool. Such a fool. Has to play extra defensive because I'm too fucking strong for him. And that's great. Always good to be in that scenario. You want to be in the too strong to fight scenario. And now it's time to hit this turret a few times. Because the enemy has no response to this, it seems. So, I'm going to level up. I'm going to keep hitting stuff. Kill some minions. An ally has been Retreat. Looks like we got the gold fury, I think. Retreat. Turret's almost dead. Aphrodite forgetting Retreat. that she's level 13 right now. And the right tower goes down in spite of her efforts. Sorry, babe. But you might have to die here. Nope. Sorry, your ult doesn't last that long. Aphrodite mistaking herself for Kale, who has a much longer lasting invincibility uh, time frame. And ends up getting killed! Because when I actually catch up to her, the damage was done because her ult was gone. No more shield. Always a shame to see uh, such lovely lives wasted. Now, Aphrodite, very... Powerful god if in the right hands, but it definitely, in the sake of sounding like an asshole, uh, in the wrong hands this game. I've never played Aphrodite before, and I'm not going to say that I would do much better than the Aphrodite in this game, but I doubt that that Aphrodite would even get kills in Joust mode. In the practice Joust against fucking Robot. So, I mean... I got kills against Robot. And that's how you dodge that, by the way. For my viewers that give a shit about anything that's going on. Probably most people already left by now. If you're still watching, I appreciate your interest in this game. It is very fun. I greatly enjoy playing it. As much as I enjoy talking about it and commentating it while I play it and while I watch it. There's the Surrender. It's been a pretty one-sided game. Herc and I did very well in our lanes and ended up, uh, Herc ended up being the, the hard carry. I was, uh, just keeping them from counter pushing mostly. I felt like that would be my duty as the other guy who was fed. I'm gonna say good job, Herc. 
And even the... And Shibalanke, they're requesting that he be reported, but... What's he gonna do? What was he gonna do against us? You know, yes, he's arranged uh, attack damage carry, but he's up against two tanks in lane, and one of them, he has nothing to do. You know, as soon as as soon as we closed the distance, it was over. I mean, he got launched into us, and it was done. I didn't even have to buy any actives, which I was thinking about the entire game buying them just to even to just showcase what they do. But they're assigned to your F and G keys, and what they will end up doing is uh, they work like your summoner spells in League of Legends, or in some cases, some of the active items in League of Legends. The Aegis is your Zanya's ring. Sprint is an equivalent to Ghost. Uh, except you don't run through things as far as I know. Uh, the Girdle of Might is the equivalent of Surge, but you can share it with teammates. Meditation is the uh, equivalent of Clarity. Uh, Creeping Curse is the equivalent of Ronduin's Omen. There are other active items. There are potions. There are also the equivalent of elixirs. There are two official elixirs, an elixir of magical and physical power. And then there are more potions later on where there's one that increases your power stats and another that increases your defense stats. So obviously, depending on your needs, you will be able to take a poop. So if we look at the damage, I mean, it's obvious who contributed the most when it came to player damage, and it was me. And it wasn't because I was a better player, though the damage numbers are always good. I had the second most farm on my team uh, when it came to per minute. And I, I think... Yeah, I think yeah, I had to actually ended up having the second most farm on my team overall. At first I thought that Herc out farmed me, but he did not. So I was doing well with farm. I was doing well with my gold per minute. I was keeping myself up with the mid almost. I uh, wasn't very far behind him, only a thousand, which could have been easily uh, fixed with a couple runs through the jungle. Uh, I took less damage than Herc, so Herc was tanking harder, and for that I thank him. I don't know how I was healing, but I was healing. I uh, healed over a thousand health. I guess that's just with my ult. And I only ulted once or twice or th maybe three times if I remember right. So I didn't really ult a lot and I healed a lot of HP. A thousand HP is a lot. That's a whole health bar for some squishy guys. And as you can see, I was the only one on my team to take out a turret. And I stopped this guy who took out a turret somewhere else from uh, continuing his conquest because look he's he, they were all behind us in levels you know I kept up in level with the mid somehow Bastet got herself all farmed up with experience and got herself okay and she stopped being in a negative score got some kills and that's good when we started being a team and they started team ganking we had a very strong 4v4 and they lost one of their key members in this uh, Vulcan who was split pushing they shouldn't have had him split push I understand he was the only one who could split push against us, but if that's the case where you can't split push, make it 4v5 while I split push, and then my team will start losing the team fights unless I head over there. So that was a bad strategy decision by the Vulcan, but the Vulcan was the lowest level on his team. He shouldn't have been split pushing in the first place. I'm uh, not sure if Shablanke went AFK or anything, but I have no idea. He didn't go into detail over why. I'm not going to end up reporting this Shablanke. I'm not going to blame Shablanke for having a bad game. Not necessarily the Shablanke's fault. His abilities weren't very good at countering our abilities, and he didn't use them in a defensive way. He didn't play defensive. He tried to play aggressive, and the uh, support that was with him, Aphrodite, didn't do very well to keep him alive. So it wasn't just him. You know, that's all I'm saying. So that was, uh, that's how I play Smite. I hope I didn't, I wasn't playing too terribly. And, uh, have a nice one. Hopefully they'll get replays back up and I can start doing commentating like a normal commentator. Stop being a stupid guy that plays this stupid game. Bye-bye! Yeah, I want to exit 